What's good? My name is Matt, and this is my testimony on how God changed my life from the inside out. And so I felt like ever since birth, God has protected me. Around seven years old, I started going to church. Um, that's when I first got introduced to God. Um, around eight, I had got baptized for the first time, and um, I was pretty young, so I really didn't know what it actually meant that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and rose on the third day. And um, I really used it as my friends were doing it, so might as well I do it. So after I got baptized, obviously I began cussing, um, even before baptism, knowing that people would know, wouldn't know that I'd do it. But after baptism, I thought I would magically stop cussing. And some people usually think like that, oh, just because I got baptized, I'm going to stop cussing and doing all these sins. But... I had to realize that I had to stop on my own. Now, um, when I was pretty young, like I um, would disobey my parents a lot. I would um, cuss, I would, around like 10 or 11, I began to feel suicidal um, to the point where I wanted to end my life. And um, I remember one day um, we, you, we'd have a river by our house. Where, um, and I remember I ran from the house one time and I, I knew this was the time I was gonna end it. Yes. I ran to the river, I was by myself and the cops were called and um, I used that, I was gonna, there was a slope where I was sitting there and I was gonna jump in the river and end it because at the time I couldn't swim. So that was my way out I was gonna use to end my life. And I sat there and um, I was about to jump in and a thought popped in my mind and I knew it was God. And he said, don't give up now. It's gonna be worth it and to keep going. Don't give up now, run back to the house. After that time, um, things started getting a little better. Um, I started my life starting to get a little better until I smoked weed for the first time. But now we're gonna get into a situation where um, when I was 13 and uh, I got introduced to porn for the first time. So after that, I ended junior high. I got into high school when I was like 15, around 15. Um, I began to jewel for the first time. Um, I started to get into sports, which limited me smoking. I I found myself back with God. And after that, um, I got away from church again. About time junior year hits, um, I'm still in sports, doing good in school. I love this church so much. Um, it's my second home, my, safe, my second safe place. Around senior year, um, I'm in my um, last year of sports in the high school. Um, I started to go to church more, um, getting more. Even though I was watching porn still, I try to repent for it and go back to church even though I was constantly sinning. And um, this is where I begin to vape again for the first time, again. Um, and it, it really took me a lot because this is the first time I threw up so much from track and I knew it was because of the vaping. And I knew I had to stop. At that, after that day, I quit vaping. All glory to God. Um, um, what, I was like 2021, late 2021, um, early 2022. So I'm about like three years, no vaping nicotine. So we get to that in 2022, 2023. I, um, I began smoking weed again. Um, and I quit May of 2023. I'm almost a year fully weed free. It was a rough year for me. I was so suicidal to the point where I wanted to give up in December. Here's why I'm a fan. Um, I would put him over God more than anything, but literally I know his music, the porn, the friendship, which I got out of a toxic friendship in September was draining my mood. Late December where I ran into my pastor um, at Walmart and we were talking about Winterfest. So at that point, I wanted to give up so bad, but I even picked the day where I was gonna end it, which was December 22nd. I just remember thought in my mind again, it was God telling me, don't give up, don't give up. And you know how they say um, it takes a traumatic experience for someone fully to commit themselves to God. And I felt like that was my fully traumatic experience. God, this is the year I'm fully gonna commit myself to you and fully devote myself to you and put you above everything. But um, anyways, I had watched porn for the final time and um, 
I felt like this was God's last strike to tell me to stop watching it. Um, I remember I was in the tub and I had dropped, I was watching it, I had dropped it in the tub and it destroyed and I like, that was God telling me, you need to stop now. And ever since then, I've been celibate for almost three months now. Stop cussing. I fully started to stop cussing. Um, and I am got better to the point where I can't, I don't cuss no more. Ready for Winterfest um, because I was so broken. And I remember it was the Friday service of Winterfest. I began to pray with my friend and I began to cry out to God and continue just to cry out. I fell to the floor and um, I was crying there for 10 minutes and um, try not to cry, but um, I felt so much free. I felt so free. I began, my body began to shake crazy. I began to feel little chains break off me. Uh, Saturday, um, this was really powerful for me. Um, they began to speak about the Holy Spirit this um, this day. But um, I just began to pray with my friend again. And I just began to speak in tongues for the first time. I spoke in tongues for the first time. And that service, I... Um, accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior and I fully gave my life to Christ I'm trying not to cry oh man it's just so crazy that God has God didn't give up on me when I was gonna give up and just knowing that he stuck there by my side it was just more than enough to just say I give it to you all God but just knowing that I came in a Winterfest broken and knowing that God healed me from the inside out and as long as you accept Jesus and give your life to him um I remember getting home and um I was crying because I felt so happy that I just didn't want it to leave because I felt at peace at Winterfest and felt that nothing could stop me from getting to the love of God that gave me at Winterfest and showed me that it's okay that you can come from this broken state to come to him and he can fully heal you from the inside out. It was just knowing that he didn't give up on me and forsake me when I, I gave up on him. And just knowing that I had to fully trust him and knowing that it's going to get hard from the inside out. It's going to get hard. And knowing that the enemy is going to hate me even more because I've unlocked a certain thing that now I can share with the world that is going to bring people to the kingdom of heaven. I was just thankful that God did not give up on me or forsake me when I was lost. And I, I fully left Winterfest, healed from depression, suicidal thoughts, and the sin I was dealing with. And I'm getting baptized on April 7th. Man, after Winterfest, I begin to get a new Bible. I, I begin to get in the Word of God every day, um, begin to pray constantly, and just fully commit myself to the Lord. Every day I, I, I feel joy. I feel him speak to me. Just feel led to do stuff. Knowing that he's there, he's listening, fully committed to God now. And knowing that nothing can stop me now. Getting to what I need to with God. And that's eternal life. And knowing that Yes, I'm a sinner, but knowing that fully now Jesus died on the cross for my sins and rose on the third day, what that truly means and not taking it lightly. I'm just so ready to re be reborn again. That's my testimony. Um, I hope it inspires somebody, um, but that's my full testimony. Thank you for just listening to this. If you listen to this whole testimony, Thank you for staying and listening, um, but that's all. Um.
Thank you for listening. Peace.